Kia ora guys, Daniel here. What is good? I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well, and of course, getting stuff done. One of the biggest questions that I get asked all the time, almost daily, is Daniel, where do you get your fisherman beanies from? So, I thought I'd kind of make a video out of it today, not just answering that one itself, but then kind of just fisherman's beanie 101. So, let's get into everything to do with fisherman's beanies. Who's gonna hit the lens? The history of Fishman's beanies. There's not like too much history to it. I just wanted to kind of like how they came about. And kind of the history is literally is within the name Fisherman's beanies. So they obviously originated from kind of pretty much fishermen's wearing it. So fishermen's wives would literally just knit them a beanie, a uh, wool beanie, you know, it would turn out roughly something like this. And then the reason how kind of fishermen's beanies got its name and its style is because when fishermen were either at the docks or went out to sea, they had to, obviously they still wanted to keep their head warm, but in order to actually hear, you know, either like things that are being called out because it can be quite dangerous on sea, you know, things can happen very, very quickly. If you guys have ever watched Deadliest Catch, you know what I'm talking about. So you got to be on point when you're out fishing. So they would roll it up in order just to be above their ears so they actually could hear because you guys know obviously when you've got a beanie over it, it does just slightly block out a bit of sound. So that's pretty much how it started guys was to be able to hear better. Now we're coming into how to style the fisherman's beanie. Fisherman's beanie are actually starting to become very very popular. They used to be very kind of like more towards kind of that hipster style where now they still kind of do still have that uh image behind it but they're starting to really come into the streetwear scene and then also kind of like the high-end fashion scene that have been seen on like the runway you know at fashion weeks and everything like that because they add such a like uh, to me they just complete an outfit especially if your outfit's on point they really complete the outfit and they just top it off perfectly especially when you are styling it with that a lot more sh smart streetwear vibe you know something like the doc martens on foot then you've got your smart cropped pants then you know you've got your tucked in t-shirt or something like that an overcoat and then the beanie to me that just sends off a really nice balance kind of like winter vibe to your outfit and i think the whole silhouette of the outfit just goes together perfectly so that's how i personally actually like to style them as well here with these photos that i show you there's just so many different ways you can style it and i always just feel like the fisherman beanie is kind of like that like that cherry on top just for the outfit and it just brings the whole vibe of the outfit together now guys coming into when should you style the fisherman's beanie when should you wear them when's a good time to wear them and also when is a bad time to wear them obviously fall slash winter perfect time to wear them obviously because it's getting colder it goes with the whole silhouette of the outfit and it makes sense visually when you look at someone's outfit it just makes sense to see the fisherman's beanie you know, with the whole let's say a jacket a scarf things like that it just really goes to that whole vibe other times that i'll personally wear it is if i'm feeling hella lazy with my hair you know it's a bad hair day something like that you put a fisherman's beanie on it adds an awesome style to your outfit and then it just saves you so much time with your hair and then obviously you know when it's windy things like that like these are just kind of standard points of when you can wear them guys but those are literally like the days that I'll be like, if I look outside and I'm like, hey, either it's like raining, like it is now, windy, which again, it is like now, man, London weather guys, like you're not missing out. Days like that, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to style my hair. I don't want to do my hair because it's just going to get ruined. Pretty much then I'll put on a fisherman's beanie, especially with a smart street wear outfit, because then I know it goes well with it. It still really does go with the outfit and it doesn't look out of place with the outfit. It looks like the fisherman's beanie was completely a part of the outfit and I chose to do it that way where deep down I actually know, no, I was lazy, it's raining, it's windy and it would have just messed up my hair big time and I would have looked even worse, so. Yeah. Now, when should you not style fisherman's beanie? When should you not wear them? So, first off guys, wear them whenever you want. This is just my personal opinion. Summertime, summertime it's, it depends where you are and what your summer is actually like, but Summertime, I personally, I don't know, I wouldn't really gravitate towards them. That's when I'll go towards more like a cap or something like that for the exact same reasons, let's say it's a windy day. I don't know, the aesthetics of it to me don't go as well. So it'll definitely be more of a cap. So that's one time that I personally wouldn't wear them. The other ones guys is like, if you're going on a first date or something like that, 
personally, again, I wouldn't recommend wearing it only because like some restaurants and things like that are still quite old school in the sense of like they might ask you to remove it or they won't allow you in. And if you're on a first date and you've chucked this on and then you have to take it off and then you've got that, like beanies give me the worst hat hair. Like it makes my hair go so flat and just crap. Like there's no coming back from it unless I like get my hair wet. So that's the last thing I'd want, you know, if I'm going to dinner is that I'd have to like literally just take it off and then you're sitting there with just bad ass hair. So first dates and stuff, you know, put the effort in, do your own hair. Uh, that's what I would recommend. Guys, any kind of like really formal event is when I would, you know, kind of stay away from fisherman's beanies. Unless you had just like one insane outfit that was just so far and it just nobody could say anything because it just looked hella on point and it just went with the entire fit and literally where you are. That's like the one time it would be okay to like stand out and yeah, wear it. This is a $500 plate dinner. Good night. Oh, 500. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Here, put us down for uh Put us down for four, in case we want seconds. Another <sighs> So coming on to the next one is where you should buy them. So as you guys see, I have quite a few from a few different places. So I'm gonna tell you exactly where I get them from and which ones I recommend the most. So guys, I have two main places where I personally uh, shop for my fisherman's beanies and that is ASOS. And with ASOS, it is the ASOS Mini. Go for the mini ones, fisherman's beanies. And the reason I say mini is because then when they're rolled up, they're not going to be as thick and it's normally just a, like a double roll uh, it does you fine you don't need to like triple roll it or anything like that like I said it won't be too thick sticking out of the sides so the mini ones are perfect to go for then the other one surprisingly guys is actually Nike SB so the skate Nike skateboarding ones now typically this is how it's meant to look as you see you've got the Nike logo there and then it would sit on the head like so now that's not a bad look I, I from time to time have worn it like that but you'd give it another roll and then you've got a very nice uh, fisherman's beanie. What I like about the Nike one is it has held its shape for a long time. Like I've literally had this one here, the black Nike one, for over two years, for over, th actually, wow, for over three years now. Um, and it's held together nicely. Hey guys, those are the two main places that I recommend. Like you can get fisherman's beanies from like Top Man, uh, Levi's, H&M, Zara. Especially at this time of year, they'll be at all of your main fast fashion um, stores. But those are the two that I definitely recommend. What colors should you buy? What colors go best? If you're only looking at buying one or two, my personal opinion, gray and black. Literally will go with everything and just fully complete your outfit and it's a lot more low key. These two colors are very, very versatile. Then if you wanna start playing with a little bit more color, this is when I would go for a bit more of a desaturated color. For example, I've got this khaki one and then also this kind of like colors tobacco. Um, again, it's a lot more low key. It's not a big, bright, vibrant color. Now, if you're gonna wear fisherman's beanies all the time, which is something I do, that's then when you can then start to going into a bit more bright colors like this mustard one. The brighter you go, the less kind of almost versatile it is with your outfits, especially if you're wanting a nice minimal outfit. But as you see here in like these photos, the beanies being worn are like very bright and vibrant, but they completely go with the outfit. So pretty much you can still wear any other color guys. It's like any, it's like saying which color t-shirt should you get. If you're wanting to be more versatile, blacks and grays, and then, you know, if you're gonna start spending a little bit more money into them, that's when you can start to play around with the shades and then getting into some bright, vibrant colors as well. The beanie is something I'll use nine times out of 10 is to really just bring the whole outfit together and start to kind of like color match it a bit more. So they can just be that extra thing to bring the whole entire outfit together. And there we have it guys. That is today's video. Fisherman's Beanie 101 is done. I will link all the beanies that I have myself in the description box down below. Now guys, if you did like today's video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and if you guys are new to the fan out or the family, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below. Also, come chill out with me on the daily and you can do this by following my Instagram, which is at I'm Daniel Simmons. Sweeties guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll let you get back to doing you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep dressing well and I'll see you fellas next time. Ooh,